I have been using Notion since I was in high school, so a collaboration with Notion feels like a dream to me. Thank you Notion for sponsoring this video. So without further ado, let's go on a Notion tour and see how I plan to organize my life with Notion. This is my main homepage of Notion. I've been using this since 2022 if I'm not wrong. I don't remember where I got this template from but it's either from Brina Kwan or Dubu Chubu or both. As the page name main, I have all my central pages linked here. I got those cute little clocks and plan gifs from the templates I mentioned earlier. I've also got a picture of my favorite coat on the main page for the little girl that lives within you. The words mean so much to me and they're the only thing that's been keeping me going. The first thing I'm going to show you is a habit tracker. As you can see, I just made it simple with my tags and boxes to check when I've done it. Do you see the date? 2022. Oh my god, wow. It's been three whole years. After the habit tracker, the next thing I'm going to show you is how Notion helped me with my academics. I have been taking notes here since my year two in med school. As you can see, this was obviously my first time note taking digitally, so it's not very neat. When I take notes, I love highlighting and bolding words to remind myself that they are really important. Here you can see how I just jotted down random facts on pathology. There is a portion of extended matching questions EMQ in our examinations. I use the table function Notion offers freely to summarize and see the facts from a bot eye view. The next thing I'm going to show is my planner, exam planner to be precise. I love having my life planned ahead instead of spontaneously doing tax. Especially during math school exam seasons when there's too much material to be covered, accidentally skipping an important topic would be a nightmare. I make countdowns on my exam two weeks ahead of my planner with specific tasks for each day. Using the toggle list function on Notion, you can just close the task when you have done it, which makes it visually pleasing and gives you the feeling of some accomplishment. You can clearly see how I planned so neatly for my finals. I'm going to show you how I took notes in year 2 so you can compare them to my note taking skills in year 3 later. Now back at the main page. I'm going to show you that little leisure time session I have here. Mind you, I made this when I was 18, so there's donghua, movies, and books, and other leisure stuff. I used to keep a watching list of donghuas and a movie watch list. I didn't use letterbox back then, I guess. And this is my reading list. Great old times where I had so much time to enjoy them daily. Another section of my main page that I would love to show you guys is this toggle list named what I found on the internet. Please enjoy reading them. What a ride of emotions. <laughs> when I say I have my entire life on Ocean, I'm not joking. I have this page dedicated to internships I had during my high school break. I jotted down all the organizations I applied to, status of the offer, and date of accomplishment literally here. I even got my resume linked. Okay now, let's go to my currently most used page year three i have all my notes here literally the only reason how i'm surviving through school 
We have different modules each week and I turn the lectures into pages with my personalized note written beside. Let's go deeper into my note taking process. I'm currently in my medicine rotation so there's only a page dedicated to medicine. The thing I like about taking notes here is this little thing. You don't need to scroll down to the topic you want but instead just take a peek, click and voila you are there. Let me give you an example. Here's my lecture notes on Hansen's disease. Instead of reading through all, I could just skim through the titles of the topics and choose the main point I want to revise or read through. Very time saving. Also, ever feel so stuck to memorize information because it's too much? Notions AI is literally here to help. You can ask Notion AI to make a summary to the topic and it will deliver. Not only summarizing, you could also ask Notion AI to generate quizzes for you to recall after studying. The questions Notion AI generated are on point and are very helpful for active recalling. Notion launched their Notion calendar last year and I'm using it very well. I've connected it to my Google calendar so I can see my school schedule and tasks I have yet to perform. You can create an event easily here on Notion calendar too, a very productive way to track your days ahead. This is a template that I've been trying out recently. I will leave the link in the description box below. The fascinating part about this template is the streaks. Seeing those burning streaks will definitely make me try to finish my tags and therefore build a habit. These are my main 5 habits I would love to do. So that was a basic example of how productive my day went, according to plan, thanks to the help of Notion. Notion is available on both App Store and Play Store. You can sign up for Notion using my link in the description box below. Notion helps me study more efficiently by offering its many useful tools all freely for students like us. My favorite thing about Notion would be how easy it is accessible on all devices. I can take notes on Notion with my laptop and then I could revise my notes while commuting on my iPad. Very convenient. For a math student like me, you have to take a lot of notes, memorize a lot of information. 
having notion is like having all my notes in one app i don't need to carry all my papers my notes with me but instead i could just sit and read my notes comfortably in just one app if you are a regular watcher of mine you can see how often i take notes on notion notion has helped me elevate my studies and make my life easier thank you notion for sponsoring this video don't forget to sign up for notion using my link in the description box below